Hi everybody, are you ready for some more music? Well we've just got a few minutes before we start so if you want to go and find the stuff we're going to need today, um, if you want to get a tea towel or a scarf to wave and if we're going to use some claves so you might want to get some wooden spoons to tap together um, or at some point you could make yourself some claves if you can find a or just find some sticks in the garden that you can tap together. So if you want to, to grab those um, while waiting to start. And if you've already got those, or you don't want to go and find them, just a reminder of the things that we're using today. So this is the Jolly Songs book. So the, the CD that we'll listen to, that's this CD. And the book um, has all, all the words in and the pictures and the signs underneath in case you forget so you can practice them at home it's nice to do have on in the car or something like that um and the books are called finger phonics okay and they're board books just because you can feel the spaces to to help you practice the letters so there's a dint in the page that you can feel with your finger to help you practice the letter shapes. So they're great. But they're also got nice pictures in. And there's lots of things to spot on each page. Like on this T page, there's lots of things beginning with a T. They're quite nice to just sit and look at as well. So whatever age children you've got. Um, there's a great DVD, which is really fun to watch at any age. But it also helps you learn your sounds and um learn how to read there's some workbooks uh so you can help practice your writing or just color the pictures <laughs> this is natalia's one and there's some brilliant games that this is my favorite is the word lotto so you pick a sound out the bag and you say what the sound is and then you try and find a picture that matches that's really good fun. I, I use that with my eight-year-old now um, it's because he still struggles with his writing and his spelling. So that's really good. So we just got two minutes and then we'll give it a start. See you in a minute. So the other, some of the other songs that we're going to use are from the colour strings method. This is one of the pictures uh, of the songs we're going to do today. This is the trumpet song. So if you like these ones with the cards, it's called Colour Strings. And they've got nice story CDs that help you learn about music uh, through the Music Land characters. So let's make a start. So today's session, we're going to... Focus on Affa Ants. Here's the ants. Are you going to wave? Hello, ants. They're raring to go. So, <clears throat> well, I'm going to, you can wiggle your, practice wiggling your fingers with me because the ah so, sound is like this. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 like this ants crawling up your arm. Right. So, we'll come back to that in a second and we'll start with our. So, the, so we're starting on book one, and we're going to do book two as well today for the CD. So have you got ready? Have you got your ants ready on your arm? The 
snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. We've got here's the ants on your arm. Ah ah, ants on my arm. Ah ah, ants on my arm. Ah. Ah, ants on my arm, they're causing me alarm. Now we're going to watch the tennis ball go side to side. When I watch a tennis game, when I watch a tennis game, my head goes back and forth. We need both hands. You're going to do some whiskers. Inky the mouse is my pet. She's built the ink and got wet. The ink is wet all over the desk. It, 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 it is wet. Go. It, 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 like a mouse. It, it, it. It, it. Right, what's the next one? We're going to puff the candles out. Puff out the candles on the pink, pink cake. Puff, puff, puff. Puff out the candles on the pink, pink cake. Puff, puff, puff. You ready? <gasps> Very good. Well done. Now we're going to be a noisy aeroplane. Put your arms out. Hear the aeroplane. Mm. Hear the aeroplane. Mm. Hear the aeroplane. Mm. Making lots of noise. Mm. Noisy. Now on book two. We are clicking castanets. There's the lady dancing with her castanets. We are clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. Now can you make them fly in the sky as well? So still tap your hands, but they're flying. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. See it? Because we've got two different cut sounds. Castanets and kites. Let's see what's on the next page. What have you got your eggs? Eggs in the pan. Eh, eh, eh. Eggs in the pan. Eh, eh, eh. Eggs in the pan. Eh, eh, eh. Crack the egg like this. Well done. Right, we've got hopping, and they're all hot and hoppy. I like to hop, hop, hop up and down. I like to hop, hop, hop all around. I like to hop, hop, hop up and down. Because you're all out of breath. Can you feel it on your hand? <sighs> a hop. Ooh, now the dog's showing his teeth at this. See my puppy rip the rag. See my puppy rip the rag when he pulls so hard. Show me your teeth. <laughs> I've cleaned them this morning. <laughs> you can rub your tummy. The mum and the dad make many meals. Mm. Mm. The mum and the dad make many meals for their hungry children. Mm. There's mum coming in at the back with the tea. We need both hands for this for your drum. See me play on my drum. Playing drums is lots of fun with a da 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 da. See me play up on my drum. Da 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 da. Yeah, well done. Right, we're going to leave it there. So the CD carries on and does all the books, but we're just going to do the first two today because it takes quite a long time to do all of them. Excellent. Right, let's put those out of the way. So, shall we do some wiggly fingers? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Looks like you're playing the piano. Right. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Now we've made a pattern. 
So a pattern is when we do something again and again. So that's what we're going to do. Try again. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Now we've made a pattern. Touch your head and stretch up high. Touch your head and stretch up high. Touch your head and stretch up high. Now we've made a pattern. Should we go back to the clapping and the wiggling? Ready? Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Clap your hands and wiggle your fingers. Now we've made a pattern. Yay! Well done. Very good. Right, it's time for some marching around the room. So have you got some space to have a march around? I'm just going to move the screen back so we can do some marching. Here we go. Okay, you ready? The ants went marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching two by two, the little one stopped to fasten his shoe. Can you fasten your shoe? And they all went marching, all to get out of the rain. The ants were marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching three by three, the little one stuck to climb a tree. Can you climb up really high? <gasps> wow. And they all went marching, all to get out of the rain. The ants were marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching four by four, the little one stopped to knock on the door. Knock on the door. And they all went marching, for to get out of the rain. The ants were marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching five by five, the little one stopped to take a dive. Should we dive in? <gasps> Splash! And they all went marching, all to get out of the rain. There they go. <laughs> oh, right, let's have a sit down. Oh, good marching. <clears throat> now, we're going to do a song about a trumpet. Can you see this little boy? He's having a blow on a trumpet like this. <laughs> he has to blow really hard. <laughs> Can you blow hard? <laughs> <laughs> and he's really cross because he can't get it to make a sound. <gasps> How annoying. So if you manage to find a wooden spoon or a stick or something like that, you just need one stick just for now. And can you move your fingers up and down on it like this? So it, it looks like you're playing the trumpet because the trumpet's got some keys as well to press. So you're going to give it a blow. <laughs> it's making a noise. <laughs> <gasps> Silly trumpet. Right. You keep, you can either do little puffs like this, or you can... Just wiggle your fingers while I sing the song. I keep blowing, see me puff, see me pout. Naughty trumpet, not a note will come out. Give it a blow. <gasps> oh, silly trumpet. Let's try it again. Are you ready? You're wiggling your fingers like this. I keep blowing, see me puff, see me pout. Naughty trumpet. Not a note will come out. <laughs> oh, how annoying. All right, this time, it's going to work this time. Are you ready? I keep blowing, see me puff, see me pout. Now my trumpet, lots of notes do come out. Do -do -do. Can you make it make a noise? Do -do -do. Oh, well done. Very good. Who's going to clap? Well done. So see if you can remember for next week that this instrument's called a trumpet. Oh, very noisy. Noisy trumpet. Right. Now, can you get two sticks to bang together this time? Two spoons, whatever you've got. Okay. So we're going to tap and tap. 
And remember, you've got to wait for the stop. So when I say stop, you're going to freeze. Ready? Tap and tap and tap together. Tap and tap and tap and stop. Very good. You ready? And again? Tap and tap and tap together. Tap and tap and tap and stop. Yeah. Now I'm going to see if I can catch you out. I'm going to stop in a different place. So if I stop like this, you stop. You've got to watch and listen. You ready? Tap and tap and stop. <gasps> tap and tap and tap together. Stop. Yay. And again. Tap and tap and tap and stop. And again, tap and tap and tap together, tap and stop. Yay, well done. Can you tap it like this? Tap and tap and tap together, tap and tap and tap and stop. Very good. Can you tap it like this? Just watch your fingers. Tap and tap and tap together, tap and tap and tap and stop. Very good. And last one, we're going to tap it like a hammer and nail. See if you can make it go down. Ready? Tap and tap and tap together. Tap and tap and tap and stop. Yay, well done. Very good. So let's put those aside because you don't need those now. Now we're going to make a cake. You like making cakes? Well, lots of people have been making cakes over lockdown, haven't they? So um, can you do some stirring? That's a big part of making cakes, isn't it? So see if you can copy the the actions with me while I sing the song. Baking cakes are sweet as a dream. Now you're going to get your cake and you're going to dip in some cream. <gasps> dip it in a bowl of cream. Oh, she went quickly. Mm, nice. Now we're going to do some other making. You're going to knead it. You have to push in. Knead the dough with a rolling pin and stir again. Melt the butter, we're ready to go. Roll the dough with a rolling pin. Sprinkle it with sugar, a layer so thin. And ready to push it in the oven? And push it in the oven. And when it's ready, I'm going to get it out, pull it out, and pull it out again. Obviously, you have to get an adult to do that for you, but that's what they're going to do. Let's practice the pushing. Can you push it in the oven? Push it in the oven and pull it out. Pull it out again. And you've got your oven gloves on. <laughs> right, should we try that again? We're going to do some stirring. Baking cakes as sweet as a dream. Ready to dip? Dip them in a bowl of cream. Come and help me knead the dough. Melt the butter, we're ready to go. Roll the dough with a rolling pin. Sprinkle it with sugar, a layer so thin. You ready to push? And push it in the oven and pull it out again. Very good. Well done. Right. Now we're going to see if we can remember some of our songs from last week. Now, do you remember the Jolly Phonics snake? We did the snake last week. <clears throat> do you remember the Jolly Phonics snake? He's a funny colour, isn't he? Look at him. So he's red with these yellow circles. And he is one of the main characters on, on the DVD, which is a lovely story to listen to. And he's learning to read. Yeah. So he needs to practice his sounds. So can you make a s shape with your hand? S and can you make a s noise with your with your mouth? S s like you're a snake. S Very good. So there's snake from the Jolly Phonics videos. Now <clears throat> we're going to do the one where we walk through the jungle. So if you want to walk around for this one, you can, if you remember. So we're going to walk through the jungle and see what we can find. Are you ready to see what you can find? Walking through the jungle, what can you see? I can hear a noise, what could it be? Should we just practice that bit again? Are you ready to walk? You can walk around the room if you want. 
Walking through the jungle, what can you see? You looking around, what can you see? Find your ears. I can hear a noise, what could it be? Oh, what's it going to be this time? There he is. Oh. A big snake. Don't worry, he's not going to bite you. Oh, well, I think it's a snake. I think it's a snake. I think it's a snake looking for his tea. But don't worry, we're not his tea, so he's going to go off over there. Right, let's see who's who's going to be next. Off we go. Walking through the jungle, what can you see? I can hear a noise, what could it be? Who's going to be this time? <gasps> it's the lion. What does the lion say? Rah! Can you do a rah? Rah! Oh, well. I think it's a lion. Ra 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 ra. I think it's a lion. Ra 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 ra. I think it's a lion looking for its tea. But we're not its tea, so off it goes. Where are we going to go? He's going to go up there too. Let's see who we can find next. You ready to walk around? Walking through the jungle, what can you see? I can hear a noise. What could it be? Who's going to be next? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There he is. Can you do a monkey like this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, well, I think it's a monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think it's a monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think it's a monkey looking for its tea. Have you got a banana for him? Oh, do you want to come and give him your banana? Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Bye. Who's next? You ready? Walking through the jungle, what can you see? I can hear a noise. What could it be? Who's it going to be this time? <gasps> Look, it's an elephant. Oh, well, I think it's an elephant. Stomp, 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 I think it's an elephant. Stomp, 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 I think it's an elephant. Looking for its tea. Can you stamp your feet like a heavy elephant? Stomp, 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 stomp. And can you do a big trunk? Oh, very good. Because this elephant's got a really big trunk. Look at him. Bye. Let's see who's going to be next. We've got one more. Last one. Walking through the jungle, what can you see? I can hear a noise, what could it be? Who's it going to be? <gasps> it's the crocodile! Can you do a big snap? Snap, like that. Snap your hands together. Oh, well, I think it's a crocodile. Snap, 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 I think it's a crocodile. Snap, 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 I think it's a crocodile. Looking for its tea. Hello. He's going looking for his tea. There they all are. Very good. Now we're just going to do one last song to finish off with. This one about a sleepy bear. And do you remember, because it's coming, it's autumn now, so the leaves are starting to turn different colours and they're starting to fall off the trees. So if you manage to find yourself a scarf or a tea towel or something, then if you reach up really high and then bring it down low, we'll see if we can make the leaves fall off the trees like the little bear. I'm just going to go put this back over here. So hold it up, hold it up really high, and we're going to watch them float down. Now, if you've got a baby, you might want to lie them on the carpet or on the couch and just you do the scarf and let it fall down onto them so they can see it, yeah? So it's a good one for little ones and big ones. Ready? From the trees the leaves fall quickly, covering the ground so thickly. Sleepy bear, it is not playtime. 
Winter's here, it's hideaway time. So if you want to lie down, then you could have it fall on top of you. Whee! Should we do it again? And if you're doing it with the scarf, why don't you swap hands and try with the other hand? From the trees the leaves fall quickly, covering the ground so thickly. Sleepy bear, it is not playtime. Winter's here, it's hideaway time. Shh, they've got to sleep. So, that's the end today. So next Tuesday, we're going to do Johnny Phonics again. And we're on our next sound, which is tennis. So if you like tennis, we're going to do things with balls next week. So you might want to find yourself a ball ready. Just a little tennis ball is fine. If you haven't got a tennis ball, football, any kind of ball for next week, that's Tuesday. And then Thursday will be the, the worship in the Bible story again. Okay, see you soon. Bye.